Hey Taurus, thanks for visiting. This is your weekly reading for November the 20th to November the 26th. And yes, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or make a comment if that's what you'd like to do. And yes, as soon as I've started this reading, somebody has already gone out with some power tools or something doing road work as soon as I've started. So I just hope it's not going to disturb you too much and I'm going to try and concentrate um, as well as I can. So yes, I have everything shuffled and ready. So let's start your reading for Taurus. So the first card you have in your past is the Nine of Wands. And yes, I'm just seeing that you were, um, maybe you're part of the way through something you've been trying to achieve or work on, or maybe you're half or three quarters of the way through or something like that at this time. Um, but you just wanted a break actually, and you just wanted to get your strength back before you kept going. So you were still strong at this time, you still had a lot of strength, but you knew that you needed to pause at this time and just have a, re have a rest before you kept going. You just wanted to do that before the final push um, to get you over the finish line of this project that you're working on. Um, yes, yeah, so the next card you have your past is the Hermit. So yes, again, this is about you taking this rest and this break and just being by yourself and away from everything else for a while uh, before you keep going again. And um, the other thing I'm seeing is that for people in a relationship, I'm also seeing that um, you could have been a bit alone at this time. Um, yes, I'm sorry. Um, even though you're in a relationship, that's how you were feeling. So you can't, your partner um, could have been emotionally absent. And they are like this sometimes. I'm seeing that this is repeating itself, that they've been emotionally absent before and maybe they make a habit of doing this. And you're used to them doing this. You're used to it, but you don't like it. It's not that you're happy with it. You're just, it's normal for you, for them to do this. That's what I'm seeing. And yes, maybe they actually were physically absent, but you know, they were definitely emotionally absent. They weren't, you weren't feeling them with you. And there was some sort of distance between you. That's what I'm seeing at this time. So the last card you have your past is the Ace of Swords. So I'm sensing that, I'm actually seeing some anger here with this. So I'm really feeling um, there's some anger coming out of this. And, but there was a realization coming out of anger. So what I'm seeing is that um, you could have had an argument or a disagreement with someone, um, but this argument maybe cleared the air in a way, and then you saw some clarity. So even though it was difficult um, having this argument, it turned out to be a good thing. So I'm not getting a very clear picture of who this is, but you definitely understood something um, or something became clear to you after you had this argument. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have your present is the Eight of Swords. And I'm just sensing this is about someone close to you. So it's not about you, um, but yeah, this person's stuck and there could be a friend or a family member, um, probably younger than you, that's what I'm seeing. Um, this person could be, um, or maybe they're just not as experienced as you, but they're stuck in some sort of situation and you've been through a lot of the situation that they're going through now. So you're happy to help this person out and give them advice and just help them. Um, but at this time, I'm seeing things are still raw for them. Maybe they've just come out of the situation or maybe they're still in this situation. So they're not ready to accept your help at this time. So they will be ready in the future, that's what I'm seeing. But um, just be ready to help them when they're ready. Um, just listen and because they'll need someone good around them. I'm seeing that they're pushing people away that are around them at the moment. Um, but at the time, at the time that they're ready to hear this advice or information, be there for them, even if they're difficult with you now. Um, they will need you. They really will need you at this time when they're ready to talk. So the next card you have for your present is the Queen of Swords. Um, so yes, again, I'm just seeing that um, you want to step in and help this person. This is about stepping in and, you know, helping. And this person's really close to you too. And they can also be frustrating at times. So maybe that's what this is. They're being frustrating and they're pushing people away and they're kicking against people that are trying to help them. Um, this could be a family member actually, but deep down you see yourself in them. So maybe you see your past in them because you went through some things that they're going through now. So you're the perfect person to be able to help them when the time comes. So the last card you have your present is the Queen of Cups. So for single people who are looking for a relationship, um, 
you had some mixed feelings in the past about someone you were involved with and you had these feelings long after you broke up with them or stopped seeing them you had these kind of mixed feelings going up and down um, for this person even though you actually weren't physically seeing them and this went on for a long long time um, but at this time you're just feeling a lot wiser about this situation now you've you know some times passed and you've had some you know you've been you've been able to see this in perspective properly and you know you've let this situation go emotionally so it's not like you're letting people get away with things that they've done or you know you're just you know forgiving everyone who's horrible to you um it's not like that you just realize that you know it's just not worth it and you're just letting things go so what i'm seeing here is wisdom in love so you're having hindsight you're looking back and you're saying well it's not worth keeping on hanging on to all of this and you're just a lot wiser maybe you're a lot older you know or you're just you've just had that experience and you've moved forward from that and learned from it too so the first card you have in your future is the ten of pentacles um so yes for single people again i'm seeing that um in love even though you've had this disappointment and you've learned from this um you've really become a lot stronger again after you know after this situation happened and Yes, you're a lot smarter when it comes to love now and you know you know what to do when this comes along now it's not as if you didn't know what to do but now you're a lot wiser in love I keep on seeing this wise in love and yeah this cards looking really good for you actually um, in that you'll definitely find the right person when the right time comes and I'm seeing that they might already be there actually and you're just not seeing it um, because sometimes the Ten of Pentacles can be about building things up slowly or things happening slowly over time. Uh, but I'm actually seeing this person could be already around you. Um, so, you know, yes, keep an open mind because you may not think that they're your type or something like that, or maybe you're not noticing them. So, you know, don't discount this person if this resonates. And if you don't know who this is yet, um, you might be shown who this is soon. You might realize who this is. So the next card you have in your future is the Page of Swords. So I'm sensing that um, you'll be working on um, the last part of this project now. So you're actually coming to the end of this thing that you're focusing on now. And you'll almost be at the end. And there will be someone trying to stop you or trying to block what you're doing. And yes, you will get to the end, but you're going to have to watch your temper with this person. Um, I can say rise above this, but I know it's very hard to rise above these kind of things. I've had these people try and do this to me too, and I am seeing that you're actually going to be a bit angry with this person, and I can understand that. So yes, they're definitely going to try and block something that you're doing, but you will get through this, you will finish this, and you'll finish it a bit later than you first wanted, but you will get to the end, you will get to the end of this thing. So the last card you have in your future is the Page of Wands. So your moods are actually going to be fluctuating at this time. So you'll be up and down. Sometimes you're great, sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're angry, sometimes you're sad, sometimes you're happy. It's going to go round and round and round. So yes, it's going, it's going on at this time. And I'm also seeing that you're going to um, maybe come out and say something to someone. So make sure that you're in the um, appropriate cycle in your mood while you're saying this thing. Don't say things when you're the, you're most angry or you're most emotional you know that's what I'm seeing there so just when you say something because this is I'm seeing that this is something you're going to have to say you've been wanting to say this for a while it's something that has to be said to someone and this is in a workplace I'm seeing this as a work situation so think about how you're going to say this and also make sure that you're in the right frame of mind when you're saying it because I'm seeing your moods are all over the place at this time but you do have to say this thing to this person. So just really watch for the right time to say this. Because, you know, if you're too angry or upset or something, it might backfire on you. Just be very, very careful. This is in the workplace. That's what I'm seeing. So Taurus, I hope this resonated. Um, these are general readings. They won't always resonate with everyone, as I always say. But if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment. And thank you so much for watching.